um, I've always said this, this machine that's called entertainment, that's called music, there's so many factors that are involved to make it what it is, from the producers to the artists, the composers, the performers, the vocalists, the writers, so, so many things come into play. So it's good to have these conversations with those who are not just um, in front of the camera, but those behind the scenes. I always say that, man. So very, very happy today. I'm going to be talking to him. But first, if you want to be a part of the conversation, if you have any questions, any suggestions, very, very simple. MX24 TV, every single platform. The hashtag is MX Live. Send us messages. Um, keep them coming through. And yeah, your input as much as possible. If there are any producers watching this, you know, and there are any questions you have, you know, any suggestions in reference to the fact that producers should be given more of a platform, more of a light to express themselves, please keep them coming through. So what we're going to do, as always, quick commercial break. We'll be right back. I have a town in the studio. Stay tuned in. Welcome back, MX24 TV, every single platform. The hashtag is MX Live. And before we went on that break, I was talking about producers and cameras, presenters, vocalists, you know, the whole nine. And right now, to the man who produced that song we just played, four years old, A Town TSB. Hey, what's up, Jay? How you doing, man? I'm good. I'm you can good. fly, bro. Oh, thanks. 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 You're looking good. <laughs> so I've heard your music. Um, so many songs you have out there, right? Yeah, um, but I'm honored to talk to you. And I'm sure a lot of people watching this probably don't know yeah. or they've not put a face to the music. Yeah. One thing I want to know is when you're in town and your music is playing, right? Yeah. And they don't know it's here and you're jamming. It's like, yeah, yeah. yeah that's a jam. How, how do you feel, man? Are you like, do you feel like you deserve more, you know, like in terms of people adding a face to the mm -hmm. music? Or is like, you like being chill like that? This, this question, I think, just yesterday, someone was asking me the okay. same question. Okay. And I was like, Charlie, me, I did cool. I did cool if I'm in town and I hear my songs playing. I just, I just feel proud. Mm. Like, Charlie, this, this, I feel like, nah, this beat, I went hard on this beat. I feel I have yeah. to make something more like this, you know. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just chilled. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so today we're going to get into a lot. Um, let's, let's look at producers, right? Like from Metro Booming yeah. to Hammer yeah. to, to Kewa um, to DJ Khaled. You know, right now they have all, like everybody knows them. Before yeah. it wasn't the case. So we're going to get into that end of the conversation. But I think it's right we get to know you. Yeah. Um, as we're talking behind the scenes, you spoke about, you know, when you used to rap and drop <laughs> bars and all of that. Tell me about how music began for you, man. Oh, um, it started it started way back in um, SHS. Um, that was um, I, I was dancing before. Like I was a dancer. Where's your dancing? Charlie, not okay. the bookie, but yeah. When I got to SHS, like everything changed. You know, I started okay. listening to more of hip hop. Mm. Um, there I began rapping. I used to run to the studio just to go record and all. But you know, during that process, I realized um, I could do more than the rapping. Oh. Yeah, I was I was sort of like directing those producers too much. Oh. It looked like I knew way too much about like the, pro the, okay. the, the production. Okay. You know? okay. So if I go to the show, I go be like, ah, Charlie, this high hat you for you for do I'm so I did, I don't want to hear I'm like this low yeah. in track. Okay. Yeah, make it rain. I want I want to hear like make it rain's okay. hat. Okay. Okay. You know okay. stuff okay. like that. Yeah, so I there, I began you know producing, started trying my hands on the softwares and all, mm. and then. From Just there. took off. But yeah. you actually left rap along the way. Yeah, why, why was I that the to. case though? Charlie, you know, when, when you know when I started producing, I realized people actually loved what I did. Like okay. in terms of production. They loved that more than the the, the rap. The rap, you know. Okay. Yeah, so I just decided to leave it alone and then focus okay, more on the production. Okay. okay, so this was all in I mean this discovery of production, was it all in SHS or after SHS? Um after. After, after I was in like in 2012. Okay, so you were involved in music in school, but not heavily involved. Not like, Just yeah, here and there, yeah, dancing understand. and all the girls would be screaming. You understand? I know, bro, I yeah. know. <laughs> so, okay, that was happening. Yeah. And then after that, that's when you took it professionally. Yeah. Um, I just want to know, what made you decide to actually take it professionally? Because, you know, doing this thing we do as a hobby is one thing, right? Yeah. Now, deciding you want to make money off of it, um, live with it for the rest of your life, feed your family with yeah. it, it's a whole other thing. Whole other. Um, what made you decide to actually do that? I realized, I realized, you know, school, but this, this is not something to, you know, um, discourage everyone like, mm -hmm. going to school. But I realized mm -hmm. in Ghana, you need something to do with your hands. Like you need a, a talent. Yeah, you need a skill. Thank okay. you. You need a skill to, 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 to keep you running. 
mm. you know. So I realized I had this talent. I realized I had this music talent mm. that I, if I take serious, I can actually mm -hmm. cash out from it. Okay. You understand? So I was like, okay. nah, Charlie, this thing I for do out. Uh, for Lenham, you know, those times YouTube wasn't like popular like no, no, now, no, no. yeah, you know. Yeah, so yeah. it was just from studio to studio. I started this with Liquid Beats, shout out to Liquid Beats, okay. Yeah, we started in, like in the, in the hall, yeah, you know, we learned okay. everything together, you know. So that was that was when I was like, nah, so you believed in yourself basically, yeah. I was like, nah, shall I for do this thing, then I have to take it pro, mm. yeah. What do you think about music right now, man? Like Ghanaian music, the state of Ghanaian music right now. Charlie, this question. I mean, it's just, it's a very broad <laughs> question, right? Somebody say, do you mean financially? Uh, do you mean reach-wise in terms of our yeah, numbers? Yeah. Somebody say, do you mean in terms of recognition-wise awards? Do you think in terms of you know connecting features? It's a very broad thing, yeah, right? Broad thing. But you're very heavily involved behind the scenes where you see what's going on. Yeah. Your hands are directly in it, right? Yeah. What do you think? Are we progressing enough? Charlie, as fast yeah, enough? Yeah, we are. We are. We are getting are we there. Yeah, oh, honestly. Because honestly. every platform we see, oh, we're not yeah. doing this right. We're not oh, doing no. this right. We're not doing this right. <laughs> you know, I, you know um, this music music changes. You know, music is dynamic. Yeah. You know, every, every, every year we have this, this, this new style popping up. Mm. You know, two, three years ago, there wasn't Black Sharif style. There was Kwesi yeah. Yatta's kind of style. Yeah. Everybody G in top. You yeah, understand that yeah. kind of vibe, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. But but right now we have people singing, we have all the trappers singing now, to drill beats. To yeah. we have pay music now. Yeah. You know, it wasn't it wasn't like that before. True. true you true. understand. And we have the likes of Saka, the them all like doing like yeah. the time. You know, he's mm -hmm. you know he's kind of singing. Something different. You understand. Yeah. So I think music is 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 heading towards like a, a positive direction, where I think we all need to embrace and 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 like go along with it. Is the comparison too much? Yeah, it'd be too because, much. Honestly, that bro, one like I ask these questions, right? Yeah. And, I, and I listen to other, I listen to so many platforms, yeah. both internationally and locally. We're in a very competitive place. Yeah. Everybody's going to compare you to the next person. But it seems like here, mm. that is always the main focus, yeah. the direction. Right. Comparing producers to other places. Yeah. Again, that's always going to happen, but mm. it is very, very heavy here mm. right now. Yeah. I don't know why, if it's because maybe we feel like we deserve more, yeah. if we feel like we're not being recognized enough. Mm -hmm. But again, back to the question, is it just too much? Shall it be too much, especially with the, with the, with the Nigerian um, music Conversation, scene? Yeah, right? with the Nigerian thing. Say, oh, Charlie, we for do this like the Nigerians, we for do this mm. like the Nigerians, nah, I'm a piano, we for do I'm this way, we for, you know? <laughs> Charlie, it be long. You know, sometimes they talk about this thing and I'll be like, Charlie, let's do, do your thing. Mm. Let's do our thing and um, gradually go pick. Mm. Yeah. In doing our thing, is it paying more attention to the high life, the hip life, or by doing our thing, do you mean like, just do what fits you, whether it's this Afrobeats genre mm. now or is this, this dance hall now? <clears throat> yeah, I think, I think we should, you should do what fits you. Mm, okay. You should do what you think is best for you. Mm, okay. You understand? Because the Nigerians, they have, they have a hip hop scene. They do. Yeah, but they, they, do. They, they do more of like the piano mixed with the Afro and Charlie, it'd be, it'd be beautiful. Right. Yeah, right. so I think we should also look at the, the more of like the hip life, mm. those times, like the Afro swing. Yeah. Oh. You know? Yeah. Because honestly, like we, we, we brought the Afro swing, yeah. you know, and then the London guys took it and then, you know, they have right now, yeah, they have a yeah, yeah, huge yeah, yeah. Afro swing. Right, yeah. Yeah, thing happening there. So I think we should really... Um, look at the Afro swing mm. mixed with the hip hop and Charlie before we go figure something. True. Yeah. Please send us some messages. MX24 TV, hashtag MX Live. I'm loving the conversation already. If there's anything you want to ask, any questions from my brother, A Town TSB, keep them coming through. Let's go a bit back again. When did you know or when <coughs> did you feel like you were truly recognized as a creative, as a producer? Because you might, you might be doing this for 10 years, yeah. then in a two-year span, everything changes. Charlie, Sometimes Charlie. you might do it for one year. Every, everybody's story is different, yeah. right? When for A-Town was like, I'm here, I, I've arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie, we, we tie out, honestly, like we tie out. I think that was in 2019. Okay. 2019, that was when I, I got shot up into the, into the mainstream. Okay. Because I've been down there for almost, like, I'll say from 2013, 2014. Damn. Yeah, Charlie, I did work. Hey, I did produce. Uh, Damn. Were you, were you producing for mainstream artists nah, during this period? Nah, nah, it was more for, like, the under guys. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, I had a lot, you know, so more of the under guys knew me. Okay. So when I came into the mid, like, nah, Charlie, this guy, this has been time. Okay. Yeah, I respect him. Like, yo, this is... 
Okay. Yeah, he, he, what, 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 what was it though? Was it a particular song you recorded? Was it, you know, a <laughs> compilation of songs? Um, was it that just word just got out there? No, I think it was, it was, it was with Smoke. Okay. Yeah, I got, I got my first track out with Smoke. Okay. Yeah, despite everything, Charlie, shout out to Smoke. You yeah. Know? Yeah. I got, I got my, my, my first breakthrough, like, song with Smoke. And through that, I met Sarkodie. So oh. that was with Yedin. In 2019. Oh, yeah. okay. And this was way before even bleeding. No, I think that same year. Okay, that same year. So that year. same year, I had back to back tracks. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Bro, yeah. this guy was working. Yeah. Um, with that song with Smoke, yeah. was it in the studio? Was it instantaneous? Did you know this song is gonna go? Yeah, first? actually, that song. Or was it like let's just wait out there, Charlie? No, 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 no. <laughs> that song, like we did that song in 2018, early 2018. Okay. So we're like Charlie, we need someone on the song. Mm. Yo, so initially I was on the song. <laughs> the Bruh, this off. guy stopped dropping bars <laughs> and then he was one of, on one of his biggest songs and yeah. then he wasn't on one of his biggest songs. What happened, man? <laughs> yeah, initially I was on the song. I was on the song with Smoke and then okay. one of my guys, Hoji, we were on the song together and then one day he woke up and was like, no, Charlie, I will combat you guys all from the song. We understood. We were like, nah, mm. we want the best for you. So okay. if, you, if, you, if you think you have you want to put Sakade on it? Okay. Charlie, me, I'm, I'm good. Okay. So 2019, we met Nanaburo. Nanaburo came through the studio. Shout out to Nanaburo. Okay. He came, he came through the studio. He held our hands, you know, literally took us to nice Sakade, you nice know. Way. And so through nice that, way. we met Sakade. Sakade had a beat. It was like, nah, who be this? I need to work with this boy. Oh, dope. So that was when we came out with Angels and Demons and then Bleeding. Oh, bro. Yeah. How did it feel, man? You know, Charlie, Sakade I was reaching out. That's next level, bro. You know, that, so th <laughs> then I was like, Charlie, you for work, if you're doing something, just, just, keep, him, at just it, right? keep doing it. At the right time, all these people will come. Yeah. And then you wouldn't, you wouldn't even feel like, Charlie, I for force myself into that space. Automatically, you're going to be in that space. Yeah. 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 Um, was it that issue? You know, with smoke taking off the song that caused you know oh, no, 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 the no, no, rapture, no. the relationship. No, 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 no. I think with smoke because we people had... love you two together, bro. I'm just yeah, gonna say it, yeah. like. Oh, that one day. <laughs> and the that fans are hoping something's gonna happen. Hopefully, maybe we never yeah, know. That one but day. Um, what caused that issue, though? And what is the issue? Um, with that, with that, I don't go like go too much into I that. that. I respect that. But um, I think we all had our differences. Like we have our differences, and then we decided to like part ways, you know, mm. and then focus on our. our a solo and careers. Mm. Yeah, so that's that's basically. Is there it. a possibility of those differences being made? Oh, that one I don't know. On your end or his? Oh, I don't know. That be that be in, in, So if inside. the brother called you? Oh yeah. Because I might me. reach out to him like smoke. Come on now. <laughs> if the brother, I mean I don't know the issue. Nah, right? no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean honestly. Maybe these things happen, right? Oh yeah, they happen. I I understand because we have, in this industry, it's, it's not new. Mm. It's not new. We have, we have people like starting and then splitting, mm. you know, because of like some, you know, some issues. Yeah. But I think, I think when, if, 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 if we are to join and then like come back and then work together, why not? Yeah, yeah. we go, we go to work something mm. out. Lastly on this, do you think like um, the fans also impacted the relationship a bit more? Because, you know, you work with strong man, they have their issue, mm. Mm. you drop some beats. Maybe it's just a producer doing his thing. You know, um, Travis Scott records music and Drake might diss somebody in the song. You bop. You know, and someone like that. And Travis might be like, I yeah. just want a feature, right? <laughs> so with that issue too, yeah. was it, um, I want to know from you, if yeah. you will, was it um, planned that, you know, I'm getting back at brother, or were you just producing a nah, beat for Strongman? No, 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 no. I think I, I, I was just doing my thing for okay. Strongman because I'm a producer. You know, I work with everyone. Okay. I work with ev almost everyone. I work with Ryan. I work with I'm right. I work with um, uh, Medical. I work with Kwesi. I work with Kofi Mole. I work with yeah. everybody. I mean, that's what I was about to ask you next. Yeah. Bro, you work with almost Sally, everybody. 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 Like, everybody. You're every, different, yeah, bro. Everyone, um, everyone. Would you say, again, is it based off your talent? Is it based off your business acumen? Is it based off the relationships you fostered? Is it based off the history with the songs that you've done? Because again, this business is not just about yeah. one thing. Sometimes yeah. you need everything yeah. to fall into place. But everyone loves working with A-Town yeah. TSP. Yeah, I think it's, it's a little bit of everything you said. Okay. Yeah, so um, with the relationships, like me working with um, Smoke mm -hmm. actually opened so many Okay. Doors for me okay. to meet all these guys. And I appreciate, like I said before, shout out to Smoke. Yeah. Despite everything, he's mm. a brother. Mm. You understand? We mm. we have we had our differences, mm. you know. So um I'll just I'll just say um through that I met all these guys. That's nice. Cool. And through 
some of my old projects too, you know, and the hard work. You know, if you, if you know they work hard like us, all these guys wouldn't come up to you. Yeah, that's true. You understand? Forget, make a, make, okay, make, make I just say this. Forget <laughs> working with smoke. Yeah. If I wasn't putting in that work, you know, that hard work, all these guys wouldn't reach out and then work mm. with me, you know. Yeah. So um, I think it's about the hard work, the, the relationships I fostered with all these guys. Mm. Yeah, that got me. Okay. So are we going to like, because now you're doing interviews, you know, yeah. people are now putting a face to the yeah. name, yeah. the beats, right? Yeah. Are we going to get more of this from you um, with that recognition of who <laughs> A-Town is? Um, and there are some producers who actually want to stay behind the music. They yeah. don't want to be out there as much. Yeah. My favorite producer of all time greatest for me is Rick Rubin, yeah, right? Because, yeah. you know, like, he's, he's different. Yeah, he's different. Right? right? Like, every producer yeah, I talk to yeah, yeah. loves him, right? Yeah. Works with Jay-Z, Kanye, yeah. Kendrick, it goes on and on. Is that always going to be the plan for you? Are you all going to be out there a bit more? Are you going to be in music videos dropping a couple of movies? Yeah, <laughs> but not like Bass. <laughs> no yeah, Bass, no Bass. <laughs> yeah, but I'll, I'll, be, I'll be in them. Because I think 2020, I dropped my joint project. That is Re-Rage. I have this series that I dropped. Okay. It was an EP. It was a joint project with Smoke. Uh, okay. That was my first, actually my first project as a producer. Okay. I didn't rap, I didn't do anything. I just produced the songs. Produced. Okay. I featured Joey on one of the songs. I featured Busum on one of the songs. Okay. And then the, I think the next, I think 2020, 2022, I had Rage 2. Mm. It, was, it, was a, it was a solo project. Yeah, okay. EP. Okay. I, had, um, I, have, I had Spacely on it. I had Toy. I had Molly. I had Strongman. I had lots of guys on it. Mm. Four songs. So I think um, I'll be dropping singles, and I, I think last year I dropped a single with Medical. Yeah, bro, you are on like yeah. what most of the songs on his new project. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, Planet and Plot and yeah. yeah. I How about did that come about, man? Because crazy, mm. like it's it's one thing you know handling one song, now yeah. handling a production. Yeah. Because you know usually with beats, you want to like think of how a person you know, drops their bars and flows, mm. you know, on a certain type of tempo and put them in. Yeah. Now A Town is like has a whole project. Yeah, do you approach that differently? You do something um, like or do you just produce the beats and give it to him? Nah, I think we 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 shout out to Medica. We with 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 Medica, I think I had I have I have this connection with him as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I have this I don't know with, with all these acts that I work with, I sort of have like half the connection. connection with everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like everybody. Like in, in when we enter into the studio, yeah. There I sort of have this connection with mm. you. And then with every beat I drop, you go get something to talk. Okay. Yeah, you okay. you you go you okay. go you go eventually get something to put on the That's beat. Good. Yeah. That's so good. with with Medica, I, I think I had, um, I think some of the beats ready. Okay. And then some of the projects too, like I cooked it there and then, and then he did his thing. Yeah. Medica is one talented guy. He Charlie. is very. He's super. Talented. I feel like he holds back. Charlie. Like he yeah, actually he, does. Yeah, he, like he people, actually does. I, I see these yeah, arguments on social media. Why, like, yeah. Bro, medical actually holds back a lot. Yeah, yeah he, he, Right, he so does. anyways, I mean, that's just by the way, but shout out to him. Yeah. I'm sure one of these days he's just going to let it all out and yeah, keep on yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so you said like you've had We Rage, <laughs> you've had um, Full Body of Work production, yeah. singles. Yeah. Moving forward this year, you've not dropped any of your own projects no, this no, year, no, have no, you? No, Okay, a few days, okay, a month into the, yeah. into the year. Is that going to change, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have I have this EP dropping soon, probably um, in February. We reach three. No, 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 no. <laughs> we reach we reach three. It's going to be different this year. Okay. Probably it might be next year because this year I have, um, I'm dropping an EP next month. Okay. And I'm dropping my album, like my debut album, as a Ooh. producer. Oh. Yeah, this year as well. That be oh. that that could be one one of my like my biggest. Bro, projects. how do artists go on your album though? What are you looking out for? Because I'm sure there are a lot of artists what <laughs> and I'm sure you know when it drops, a lot of artists are also going to be pissed. Like you, you know, like yeah, like oh me that you did so what's up? Like, what's yeah. up, what's up now? And that's a very dicey position yeah. for producer to be in. So yeah. what are you looking out for on this project, man? Um, with this with this trip to Mars, it's, it's actually called trip, trip to, to Mars. Mars 2024. Okay. Yeah, and I'm actually looking at um, diverse. Um, uh, a, a diverse kind of style, you know. I'm looking at hip hop, like different hip hop style, like space kind of vibe. Okay. You know, so okay. yeah, I'm just I'm I'm not just looking at just the normal hip hop thing I've been doing like mm -hmm. every every mm -hmm. time. You know, I'm looking at different style altogether on this on this project. Mm -hmm. That's and what I was gonna ask you. You know, when you're dropping a project like this, that's heavily anticipated. You mm -hmm. know. 
do you think a lot about you know the kind of music and the beats you're going to drop? Again, yeah, looking yeah. at the climate, yeah. Afrobeats. We see what Afrobeats yeah. is doing, right? Everybody wants to hear an Afrobeat yeah. song. Um, or do you stay true to what you believe in, like you're saying, you know, yeah. different styles? Because as much as we love this creatively, it's yeah. also a business. Yeah, facts. right. So your approach is like, how do you approach no, a project? No, no. <laughs> this, <laughs> but honestly, with, with this project, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at doing more of like hip hop, no Afro. For real? Yeah, no Afro. Bro, it, it, it's going to is be that more... a risk? Would you say that's a risk? Nah, no, honestly, easy? like me, I did believe in what I did do, you okay. know, because okay. okay. we, okay. we have hip hop tracks selling. Yeah. Like in Ghana, mm. you know, with so much, you know, out there. So I think with me, with this, with this project there, I they go all hip hop, For all real? hip hop. I've probably, I have probably like a swing. Okay. I got some little Not bit of Afro Afrobeat swing. Song. Nah, 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 nah. No, no, I'm a piano. Nah. What if Bernard called you and he's like, bro, I want to be on that album, man? Because <laughs> I'm and putting out the universe, bro. And, and I'm going to be like, on that song if it happens. Like, I'm just putting it out there. Like, Whiskey hit you up. Davido, like, Omo, come on now. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to be on this album now. I wish they had to be there. I'll go give him Afro swing. Forget. <laughs> okay, okay. No, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. you know, Afro, Afro swing has that kind of hip hop. Um, yeah. The elements. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Elements, I mean, so. Bernard is like super yeah, like, yeah, yeah, diverse yeah, yeah. and, you know, multifaceted. Yeah, so, yeah, oh, but boy, that's going to be crazy. Yeah, is there a timeline for when it's going to drop? Even though this year, is it going to be mid? Yeah, mid, yeah, mid, mid this year. Okay. So, so have like, you actually started so production on this? Yeah, yeah, I have started, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I have, I have started, yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. I don't okay. Go, I, don't, I don't go drop names now, but yeah. I, I, I was about to, I was, I was, I was, I was going to try. Yeah, well, Charlie, yeah, I was well. going to try, I was going to try. Oh, but I actually have um, one of your songs we were going to get into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it breaks my heart that I have to let you leave. But when we get back, you know, mm. we're going to talk about where we can find your music, yeah. you know, some of the songs out there. And if there's anything else you want to touch on, guys, check this out. Um, we'll be right back. Yeah. One side. If you know me, hey, 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 tell don't like this. What's the rapper you're calling? Yeah. Was this record um, produced specifically for him, or did he hear it? Sometimes I really want to know that. Because... You know, the, with, with this project, he came to the studio and was like, no, I need something like this. I was like, oh, EBSD, no way I make this beat too. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, the some... stars aligned. Yeah, and I was like, no, ah. You'd be like, you did my head inside, though. Yeah, yeah everything, everything right? Like, Bro. Yeah. Bro, this is hard. Yeah, like this, this, this is this is different. This is different. And if if this is a testament to what the album is going to be like, oh, yeah. the the yeah, I don't foresee. know. Okay, so uh, we actually there's a project which you're part of. Yeah, um, please trans, tell us about yeah, it. Trans structures. Shout outs to um, Captain and then um, uh, um, Asia. It's, it was it was a project, you know, targeting um, hair, um, pollution, and okay, all. You okay, you know, okay, yeah. Okay. So. It was, it, was, it, was, it was targeting more of like um, okay. pollution and all those kind of things. Yeah, mm -hmm. through hairstyles and all of that. So, okay. yeah, so I was, I was sort of like part of the project. Okay. And yeah, we had this diaspora and, you know, passing through and all. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Bro, this is my hairstyles for the streets, man. Charlie, you understand? That was expensive, man. <laughs> so if you're ever going to have a project, we're talking about boys on the streets. Yeah, you bad. I better be in there, man. <laughs> um, but that's really, really cool. It's good to see that, you know... Um, we're having yeah. fun with what yeah. we do, but you know, right. we add our voices to yeah. important stuff. You know yeah. what people are going and, and not to, not, not to, not to. Mm -hmm. um, I, I this with the trans structures. Mm -hmm. um, the songs that I produced were more high life, high life, strictly oh, high life. Okay. Yeah, and okay. people don't really know that I can actually do more. Yeah, like high I was life. about to yeah. ask you, man. Yeah, like that's so, crazy. Yeah, so should, you should check it out. You know, okay, on definitely, platforms, definitely. Yeah. Please go out there and check it out. Um, I was going to ask you, producers, producers, oh, in terms of, you know, financially, monetarily, yeah. when the songs come out, are producers understanding, you know, the spreadsheet and, okay, I'll get this percentage? Charlie, this matter. Are they understanding it? Mona? Yeah, right now, right now, more of the producers are, are sort of like Because it's just fair, right? Yeah, it'd be it's, fair. It's, it's it'd fair. be fair. It'd be yeah. fair, you know, because yeah. we have most of the people don't, you know, most of the guys don't actually pay. Mm. Most of these like acts don't actually pay, you know, but they are they are starting to understand. Yeah. I mean, I would like back in the like, day we record a song and I probably just pay a producer. You understand? That's an, an also a fair agreement. Yes. But now it's yes. like you know a song can live for songs actually live forever. Yeah. You know, and our producers are understanding yeah. that Charlie, I want more of the yeah. business, and yeah. which again, yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. But right now the thing is, the the the, the normal process is for you to pay a producer. Okay. Pay a producer, right? And then you guys will have this split, split okay. sheets based on the upfront you give the producer. Okay. You know. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So with that, okay, probably make you talk and say, 
I charge you um, 5K mm -hmm. for a production, mm -hmm. right? And then um, I'll be like, okay, I need 50% from, like, from your distribution. Okay. Distribution, not your publishing. Not your publishing. Oh, you that understand. Makes sense. So we have distribution, yeah. and then we have publishing. And somebody might not take the five k. Yes. But take distribution and publishing. Yes. Okay, based take, on the agreement. Yeah, based okay. on the agree agreement. Okay, okay, okay. So probably okay. if I take five k, I might take thirty percent or twenty percent from your distro. Okay. Or probably like ten percent. Okay. Depending okay. on the agreement. Ten, okay. Yeah, but with the publishing. Whether you like it or yes, 50-50. 50-50. Yes. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that, oh okay. Yeah. Okay, so okay. So, producers, there, you for pay them. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, for pay them up yeah, front. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like you're saying, it's it, there always has to be that mutual agreement. Yeah, so, mutual there always has to be paperwork. Paperwork. But if you have paperwork for every single song, I can't wait to see your office, man. Chale. You're going to have like stacks of... Chale, my catalog is crazy. <laughs> stacks of papers, bro. Crazy. That's crazy. But crazy. Um, it's good that we're having these conversations because the honest truth is a lot of artists don't even know this. They don't. You know, sometimes I've spoken to artists where they have issues with producers. And like, bro, as we talk, I pay them. Oh, Charlie. So, I thought that was all. But as the song hits, yeah, now you say one money. Yeah, we didn't have that agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I think it's good and yeah. it's fair if, you know, we all have an understanding of what's going right. on. If you want to take your publishing, your distribution. Because somebody might listen to a song and say, this song is going to be heard by Beyonce. Mm. I don't want nothing up front. Yes. Let's do 50-50. 50-50 on the distro. On the distro, right? And then 50 on <laughs> you the... You don't even make more. Yeah, right? yeah. Big, forever. Oh, Charlie, I love this conversation, yeah. man. Bro, is there anything you want to add before you leave, man? Um, um, just watch out for my upcoming project. Bro, I'm really looking out for it. Yeah, trip to Mars 2024. Um, intensive care that is next. Um, that is February. Okay. Um, probably, intensive care. Yeah. Intensive is it care. um a full body of work or one song? Nah, a full body. That, okay. That's an EP. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Who's on and it? Then, Who's on it? Oh, Charlie, that one there. Okay, I have, <laughs> I have um La Lid on it. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, I, I spoke have, to him last week. Yeah, I have Medical on it. Oh, I have, crazy. I have Slim Kid on it. I have Kofumole on it. Bro. I, Charlie, I got boys. Plus plenty. Slim Kid on there. Charlie, plenty. Salute to you, man. So that's coming out with next one, right? Yeah, next one. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. okay. Yeah. Um, they were going to get the EP, more songs, and all these songs are on all the platforms, yeah, obviously. The platforms. Okay, okay. Yeah. Bro, thank you so much for thank coming. You for it's been a big well. blessing talking to you. Yeah. Um, guys, that's the man himself, man. A Town TSB. Yeah. Hopefully, we're going to get more projects, more music. We're going to see his more face music. more in the music videos because yeah. that's what it's about, you know. And having these conversations about paying producers yeah. um, as much as paying artists, you know, having that equal conversation, you nice. know, to avoid all these little mishaps. Thank you so much for coming Thank through. So I have to let him go. Um, I'm sure when he drops this project, I'm going to be talking to him. Enjoy this. We'll be right back.